first off, thank, thank you very much. And uh, I can tell you this, I have no desire to sit here again, unless we get rid of somebody at our choice. <laughs> but we sure don't want to lose uh, anybody else. Uh, so we're, we're truly excited about today. Uh, I, 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 the Chancellor and I talked, a, a, I guess, a, a week ago when, when all this came down and we decided we were going to do this quick, where we were going to make the right decision, we're going to move forward, and, and we're going to do better than we did last time. And I think we continue to do that. And, and we're, we're, just, we're just thrilled to have Chris today and, and introduce him as our, our new athletic director. I mean, this is a guy that knows how to roll his sleeves up and, and get it done. Uh, I look at Chris, and I, I see a lot of myself in Chris. Uh, but to be a Cougar, to, to play football here for three years, and, 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 and for his team to vote him captain, that ought to tell you about the integrity he has and, and uh, what the people around him think of. You always look for leaders in life, and I just think that uh, we, we, we've got the right guy. He got to work here. He got to go out and... and and, and work for another great university, the University of California at Berkeley, and uh, learn. I always believe that people need to go out and see how other people operate, because everybody operates a, a, a little bit differently. Uh, this is an exciting time for the University of Houston with everything we have going on, especially in our athletic department, which we are talking about today with our new football facility, our new basketball arena. Uh, we have an extremely good football coach, an extremely good basketball coach, an extremely good baseball coach, and women's sports are doing well right now. And, and one of the things that I told him, we don't want to be successful just at the big three. I want our women's sports to, to be as competitive. Our, our, we want our, our women's tennis team, our volleyball team, our, our women's basketball team, and gosh, I'm not going to name all of y'all, of course, our swimming team and all the others, but we want to be successful at all sports, not just the big three. And uh, I think this is the guy to get us there. Uh, we did this quick. We, we, we only had a few people involved. Uh, Gerald Mappleby, Board of Regent of mine, uh, helped me tremendously in this, and I appreciate your guidance. And uh, I'll let him ask Chris all the good questions so I can be the good guy. So, but, uh, but great job, Gerald. I really appreciate it. Uh, I don't think Spencer's here. So, uh, and of course, the support from all of our Board of Regents who are here today. Hopefully, any other Board of Regents here? Ex-Chairman uh, or whatever? I've got our student regents. Glad to see you here. Glad to see it was so important to them. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it, it's, it's Tuesday, a busy day, and, and uh, we're, we're, just, we're just thrilled. And uh, Chancellor? Thank you. I totally agree with Chairman, there's just never been a better time to be a Cougar, to be in Houston, to be involved in the athletics program. You know, if you look around, you can see that, um, you know, we've had our former athletic directors who have really left, each one left the university better than what, what they found it. They have built a foundation, they have uh, truly built a platform for us. If you look at it, you can see the facilities that we have now, $260 million worth of investment. Beautiful facilities, some of them are probably uh, best in the nation. We have extremely good coaches, very competitive coaches. We have uh, great talent in our student athletes. We've got very involved fans, uh, excited fans, and very engaged students, and even faculty tailgates that are worth joining you know, and, uh, and enjoying. We have all of this, but what happens when you have all of this, when you have a good foundation, you've got to figure it out how to build a good structure. When you have a good platform, you need to figure it out how to launch something big. So along with all of this, our expectations have gone up as well. We expect to, to win national championships. We absolutely expect to be playing in New Year's bowl games. We expect to be in Omaha. I'm waiting for that. And we expect to be in Sweet 16. Yes, I mean, our expectations are high. So when your expectations are high and when your launch pad is right, you look for a leader who has everything, the skill set, a vision, commitment, courage, but I think most importantly, who has passion. Because you can train people in other things, you can send them to workshops, you can never train people in how to have passion. 
So um, when we were looking for our new athletic director, I think we found all of these things in, in Chris. He was here as a team captain, I believe, when Andre Weir brought his Heisman Trophy home. Uh, he has been here, he has been at NRG, and uh, he was director of football operations here. Then he went to University of California, and he honed his skills there. And from there now, this was the right time to bring him home so that he can help us do what we have always been dreaming of, the, all the goals that I've outlined. This is an extremely challenging job. I would be the first person to say that. This is a very interesting job, very important job, but at the end of the day, this is probably one of the most gratifying jobs in the nation. We are building something here. We are building something special in the fourth largest city in the United States. So with all of these expectations and with all of these dreams that we have, I think we have found the right person. So to you all, I present to you your next, next athletic director, Chris Pesman. saying this and I found myself, uh, if anybody that knows me knows I talk a lot, and I found myself many times at a loss for words and uh, if I pause just bear with me because I'm trying to find the right words to fit the moment. Um, it's funny, I had a chance to walk out and meet the football team this morning and it was uh, 1988 almost to the day, uh, I was one of those young freshman football players and we were going to uh, Hawaii to go play in the law pool. And, uh, to see and feel uh, those kids out there that are getting ready to start that have that same opportunity and uh, knowing I was there with them and I see many of my former teammates over there that kept me out of trouble while we were there. Um, it's an exciting time. Um, first, I really, it's important that I thank, thank uh, Chairman Fertitta, Chancellor Couture. Um, it, it's not every institution that has the ability to have the alignment with the regents, uh, with the university administration and with the athletic department to define success and to define expectations. And it's not just expectations of winning, it's winning at a high level and sustaining that as we move forward. Um, it's, uh, it's a challenge that I welcome and one that I know uh, we will be able to achieve together. Um, somebody that I know isn't here today that's uh, part of our department, I just, I'd be remiss if I didn't um, we all didn't think about him is Mike O'Shea. He's a wonderful cougar. Um, his wife is sick and he's with her. Um, we spoke and um, if every, anybody gets a chance to shoot, um, give them a prayer or shoot them a text, they're, um, they're uh, a great representative of what we all aspire to be as far as their commitment to the university and to uh, our student athletes and their growth. Um, I'm looking around and I'm seeing a lot of former student athletes and some current student athletes uh, would you all do me a favor and stand up for a second? I just want to give you guys and give this room a chance to recognize you. Stand up, Holly, you guys, Jay, all you guys stand up. Cadet, Hickory, come on. Jason, The current student athletes, they're what we're here for. They're the lifeblood of this institution and this, of this department. And, um, you can build incredible facilities which have been done here, but what we put in it with the people, that's what we're about, and that's what we will be about, is having great people. Um, to our donor community and our supporters, thank you. I see a lot of familiar faces. Uh, you guys have been here through thick and thin. I'm looking forward to a lot more thick. Uh, some really good times. Uh, the University of Houston community, community uh, the vibrance that comes with having played on campus and seeing what happens here when we play a Louisville on a Thursday night and how this place rocks and the student section and the cage sway, that's, that's an incredible um, image. And uh, we're gonna be able to replicate that very soon in the Fertitta Center, I look forward to that. Um, to the city of Houston, because this, we are the University of Houston and the support that we, that we receive from the city. Um, and of course, and uh, certainly last or least, is my wife, Marisol. Marisol, please stand up. <laughs> she and uh, 
Uh, my kids have been inc incredibly patient with me during this process. Uh, when I told them we were moving to California, they had this look of horror. You know, they didn't know what we were getting into. And um, uh, when we told our children uh, Sunday night, uh, our middle daughter started crying, and I, it scared me. And I wasn't quite sure. And she was actually crying over tears of joy. She was so excited to be coming home. She knows what this institution and this city means to us. And uh, our son and our youngest daughter couldn't be more elated. So you'll see them soon. They had finals this week, so they weren't able to join us. Um, you know, when you come back to your alma mater and, um, and you're in this industry, you know, sometimes it's a job. But coming back here in every facet, it means more. And, uh, you know, it, it means more energy, more effort, more dedication, commitment, all those things. Uh, it, it just means more in, in every possible way. And I look forward to leading this department in that sense. Um, Make sure I don't miss anything here. Um, as we strive, and as I've, we met with the staff just prior to coming over here, um, several points that we'll emphasize is excellence, as we mentioned in every facet. In the classroom, um, you know, I brought up Dewan Hines this morning. He's a young football player on our team that's graduating. Uh, a young man graduated with a bachelor's and a graduate degree, and uh, switched positions three times and was an all-conference linebacker this year. That is the epitome of what we're looking for in the kids that will represent us moving forward. Um, as we represent ourselves in competition, what we succeeded uh, and achieved two years ago in the Peach Bowl, it's not going to be a one-hit wonder. It's going to be sustained success in those areas. Our men's national championship team, the 4x100 with track and field, uh, baseball, hosting regionals, uh, swimming, diving championship this last year, five conference championships last year, and 11 of 17 teams participating in postseason play. Those are the levels of excellence that we expect to achieve and we will continue to achieve. Um, you know, the university is going through a period of unprecedented growth with the recent acquisition of the medical school with the leadership of Chancellor Couture and Chairman Fatida and the Board of Regents um, and the facilities that we're building. It's a uh, very special time to be here. It's a, quite an honor for me personally to be here. Um, you know, you find yourself it's humbling, you know, when you're younger, you think you're ready for this opportunity, but uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, ignorance or arrogance. Uh, when I got the phone call from Chancellor Couture on uh, Sunday, or pardon me, yeah, Friday, 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 Friday. <laughs> Friday there, was, uh, there was a moment of uh, sure, ex uh, you know, excitement, but there was also a moment of, you know, anxiety, because you realize um, it's your institution, and uh, you appreciate the magnitude of leading the department through this period and uh, leading it for a long time. I don't plan on being here for one year, four years. This is my life, this is my home, this is Houston for us. This is everything. So I'll close with just, I couldn't be more excited to be here to lead your program and Looking forward to continued success. And those of you that I haven't had a chance to reach back out to yet, don't take it personally. Uh, I went from about five Twitter followers to about 5,000 over the course of the night. Uh, I'm trying to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. And uh, those of you that don't own season tickets, I know who you are, and I, I will find you. <laughs> Ready to get started. Well, congratulations. It's, it's great to have a Cougar. and. Uh, we just, we just want to win, and we know you're going to be here for lots of years, and uh, we really got the right guy. We're really happy. Thank you. With that, we're going to open up the questions to the media. If you have a question, raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you. Chris, welcome. Uh, you, you hear these championship expectations, and this is big stuff. How, how do you do that? How do you navigate this, this wildly changing landscape of intercollegiate athletics from here at U of H? You do it every day. You know, you're engaged. Um, it's, again, it's about having the right people, <coughs> supporting them, um, giving them the resources to be successful. Um, my job is to eliminate excuses, and by doing so, giving them the resources to be successful, to get the kids in here to be successful academically and socially um, and on the field. That's that's my job. That's what I'm responsible for. 
Welcome back, Chris. Hey, Joseph. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, just curious, from the last time you were here, how beneficial going somewhere else was for you just to to get that experience, get that, that role that you had there and, and kind of set you up to, to be in position for, um, for this job? It's invaluable. It's uh, That university in many ways uh, replicates the many of the challenges that we face here at the University of California, or at the University of Houston, at the University of California, they have similar challenges, um, trying to define themselves in a large media market, um, trying to sustain success. Uh, they have it in some of the Olympic sports, but trying to do that in the primary revenue sports is key. Um, having been there through changes, you know, unfortunately having to make a coaching change, but being part of uh, hiring a new football coach and seeing that and putting together a great staff, um, being part of the senior management team uh, in a, uh, a very diverse campus that's uh, socially charged. Uh, it, it, you get a little bit of everything in, in Berkeley. And, uh, it will serve me well here. <laughs> kind of want to follow up with, with what Chancellor Couture had mentioned. This university in the last just few years alone has undergone a huge transformation athletically with the new facilities. Uh, all your major sports coaches are in place, uh, so that's not a priority. Uh, what, what do you What's your, I guess, the road, the, the early path that you'll take in terms of what you see as a priority with the sure. athletic department? Sure. Um, you know, we actually uh, we stuck onto campus last night and uh, drove around. And uh, I was here about a year ago um, in town and made a point of coming through campus. But just even in the last year, um, my wife actually started crying at one point just from the sheer uh, amount of change that had occurred and how, what a different place it is and how excited we were. So uh, right off the bat, um, you know, reassessing, getting to know everybody. It, it has been four years since I've been gone. I have stayed in touch with people, but there's a lot of new faces. Um, getting to know who they are, what they do, um, and how they fit as we move forward, that'll be my initial assessment. Um, and then also being as active as I can be in the community, raising money, um, selling tickets, making sure that we have a great environment when people come onto campus to experience the University of Houston because it's not just a spring <coughs> event, it's an experience for the campus and making sure that they have a great opportunity when they come back. Um, and then also getting to know the coaches and understanding what their needs are and where they are in their program and where they feel they are headed. Um, so it'll be a lot of talking, a lot of listening. You touched on what this means to you emotionally to be whole. How did this place shape you? How did this place get you to this point in your career where you're ready to come lead this athletic department? Sure. Um, you know, it sounds like an interview answer, and, and maybe it is. Uh, and I, I shared this uh, during, while we were talking. Um, every step I took along the way was intentional, and with the hope of being able to come back here. Uh, I started here as a student athlete, was a graduate assistant, uh, went to work in the AD's office as an administrative assistant. Um, sat outside uh, the door when the Southwest Conference uh, left us out. Uh, was there when we joined then Conference USA. Um, and then was in that role, Chet Gladchuk came in and went into an operations position. Was in that for a few years. Every one of those steps helps shape you and get a better understanding of what you believe will lead to success. Um, had a chance to work for a sports marketing company for about a year and then joined Reliant Park, which is now NRG while they were shutting down the Astrodome and building the convention center and opening the stadium and when the Texans were a novel franchise. Um, you learn so much um, either through contacts, seeing things done the right and more often than not the wrong way. Um, mistakes that are made that you realize, hey, those are opportunities to grow and uh, you follow those away and hope that you don't make those moving forward in the future. Tillman, does this hire just feel different? I know you mentioned at the beginning that you've done this a few times now. Uh, does it feel different to get one of your own? And is it also, was that a priority to find someone that not, maybe not had so much had ties, but that could be here for the long haul? De definitely. We were, <laughs> the one thing we were going to make sure is whoever 
came here stayed here because they wanted to stay here or we were going to lock them up to stay here. <laughs> and uh, and, and uh, we, we didn't have to do that. I mean, Chris wants to be here. Uh, Chris wants to help us get into a Power Five conference. Uh, I'll say it again, you don't, it's just a word. You can win the NCAA basketball championship and not be in a Power Five conference. Uh, many times throughout the decade, teams that aren't win it. Same in baseball. And, and in football, if the University of Houston would have gone undefeated this year, they would most likely be playing one of the four teams in, in, in the uh, playoff. Uh, it, it's, it's just words. And you, Do you get a bigger budget? Yes, because of television. But that's really all it is. It doesn't mean that you can't compete to the highest honors in, in, in any sport. Uh, it's, just, it's just a word. And, and uh, do we want to be there for TV? Absolutely, because it's just all about money. And, and if you have more money, you get what you want. Uh, look at the Houston Rockets. <laughs> so, uh, so, yes, we want a bigger budget. We want a bigger budget at the University of Houston to be more competitive. And, uh, but that's no excuse not to win, because you do look at Go look at other schools' facilities. If you look at these facilities around here now with baseball, basketball, football, training facilities, we're a Power Five conference. And, and uh, Renew and myself, and, and we're just ecstatic to have a Cougar. And, and he's ecstatic to be here. And his family's ecstatic to be here. And we appreciate it. And we, we just think this is going to be great. And we're just truly excited.